So the first thing I did was just remove everything from the enclosure and then spot clean. You don't need to remove all of the bedding as this is very stressful for them. Then I'm just going to be adding some dust free care fresh natural hamster bedding. As a different texture I'm going to be adding in some hemp bedding. It's important that your hamster has a bare minimum of 6 inches of bedding in their enclosure. This allows them to burrow, which is what they do in the wild. Then I sifted through the sand bath and just put it back in the enclosure. Then I put the rocks back in the enclosure which helps keep the hamster's nails trim as well as some wooden accessories. I found these marigold tubes which should be good for pancake because it will keep him busy trying to get the stuff out from in the middle. Now I'm going to scatter around some dried flowers for pancake. These are very healthy and enriching for him to have to forage for. I'm going to add in some dried dandelion roots which Pancake really likes gnawing. Now I'm going to scatter feed this salad bowl for small animals which is basically just herbs and dried fruit. Now I'm going to add some sprays which are enriching for hamsters because they can pick the seeds off the branches like they would in the wild. Some safe sprays include flax, oat, millet and wheat sprays. They were quite long so I just cut them in half and then stuck them vertically in the bedding. Now I'm going to scatter feed Pancake's food mix all over the cage. This will help keep him entertained. I'm also scattering some meal worms which are a good source of protein. I'm also going to scatter some soft, dust-free Timothy hay over the top layer of the bedding. Shredded up paper towel or toilet paper are some good nesting materials for hamsters. I've also refilled Pancake's water bottle and water bowl, which is good to do every day so your hamster has fresh water. I'm using Ecoworth in Pancake's miniature sand bath. Similar to the marigold tube, I found this carrot wood roll. This will also help Pancake keep his teeth trim and also stop him from getting bored. This is the final result of Pancake's natural cage setup. So as you can see here, I'm using this guinea pig hideout as a platform for the water bowl and also the foraging toy. This is a cork tunnel which looks very natural and is also a good texture for Pancake to walk on. That's the end of this week's video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Bye!